Hello friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 5 in Microsoft Fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about what are roles available in workspace and how to give access to any user in the workspace by using that roles. So our main agenda is to know about the different roles and then how to give access to any user in the workspace. Okay, so these, these are the two main points which we are going to discuss in this video. Uh, before watching this video, I would strongly encourage you guys to watch my previous videos because it is continuation to that, right? If you watch them, then you will get the things better. So let's continue with this video, like what are roles available in workspace inside the fabric resource. So generally, like how to create workspace we have seen in the last video. So as continuation of that video, let's understand how a workspace roles uh, can be granted to any user. So basically why these roles are needed is these roles which are available in workspace will let you manage how you can do and what you can do in the fabric workspace. So in fabric workspace as you guys know we can create many different type of fabric items like we can create data pipelines right we can create notebooks there are so many things we haven't deep dived that we will deep dive all of them in our very near future uh, videos uh, but so we can do lot of things with lot of different experiences which are available in the fabric now if you want to control what user to do what kind of activity and task there then you have to rely on these roles so roles will help you to manage what kind of action one can do in the fabric workspace so there are totally four roles available in fabric admin role member role contributor viewer role so all these four different kind of roles are available which will help you do certain kind of task uh, usually this viewer role as you can see this will generally help you only with the view access you cannot do any edits kind of thing okay so there is a documentation available actually so that documentation helps you to understand what which role will actually does okay so i will be pointing to this documentation i will share link of this documentation also in the uh, description of the video please try to watch that link if i scroll down this documentation you can see there is a table which will explains a different capabilities one can do in the fabric right and also what role can do what kind of capability all that things are explained here for example if you see update and delete workspace so this kind of capability only admin can do no other person can do that so if a user has a admin permissions only he can do whereas if you see that this particular capability view and read content of the kql database kql query sets and real-time dashboards so this particular capability every role can do you can see that admin member contributor viewer everyone can can do this kind of job or this kind of capability so this table clearly explains like what various kinds of capabilities one can perform in the workspace and which role can do what kind of task or capability so i'm not going in detail of every capability here you guys can uh, try to explore that so the point to remember is there are totally four kind of roles are available admin member contributor and viewer depending upon the role a user has they can perform certain task or the capability now how to give these roles to any user so that they can access our workspace so that's the part we have to discuss now so this is my workspace uh, you to navigate to this workspace if you have seen previous videos you know that uh, one has to go to app.fabric.microsoft.com url once they navigate to that particular url uh, they have to go to this workspaces menu and from the workspaces menu they can click the workspace what they created and we discussed that in our previous video in this particular case i have opened this mahir demo workspace you can see that the workspace name also here and the workspace description here so the moment you open any workspace that workspace will come into this favorites navigation menu as well and uh, right now in this workspace i have a one pipeline called pipeline one how i created that by clicking this new button 
we will discuss that how to create these pipelines and more things in future classes or future videos so for now focus that okay i opened a workspace and i have one uh, fabric item there so now my need is i know that there are uh, certain roles are available admin member contributor and the viewer role so i wanted to give some user from my team viewer role maybe or admin member and contributor role maybe if i give viewer role they can only view and i just know said that right depending upon a role various capabilities are there so some capability i have to assign to one user so that they can also access my workspace so how to give that access to give that access we have to go to this manage access inside the workspace click this manage access menu here and from there you can give the access so let me click that and the moment you click that you can see this this kind of panel will open here and if you can closely observe right now only i am the only one who has access in this workspace and i am admin actually you can see that very clearly uh, so i wanted to add somebody else also with a different role there so to do that i have to click this add people or groups button there so let me click that and then if you see i have already entered my uh, one of the user called pradeep chikatla here if you want to enter it you can enter it or you can search them by their email id or name here so once you enter them then simply select the what kind of role you wanted to give here so either admin or member or contributor or viewer so you need to select uh, this role so maybe let it be member role then once you selected your role and you selected your user simply click this add button this is going to add a user with the role into your workspace from that moment they will they can also access your workspace and depending upon the role they have they can perform the certain task so let me close this window and now if i hit this manage access you can see that there are totally two users this is my id who is admin and the another person which i just now added with the role of member right so this is how we can grant access to any user in the workspace as well okay so let's go back to our presentation so i hope you found this particular video is helpful uh, so now you i hope you guys can very easily know like who are having the permissions or accesses on the workspace and how to grant roles to them and everything thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much